In today's video, guys, we're gonna talk about metal roofing trims. We're gonna introduce you to some of the more common trims that we use when we're gonna install standing seam. And then we're gonna show you how we take a flat piece of metal and turn it into the trim. Stick around, and we'll show you how it's done. All right, guys, my name's Aaron with Exterior Pro. We're here in our sheet metal shop, and in this video, we're gonna be talking about some trims. I've got the metal roof trims laid out on the table here, and I'm gonna introduce you to some trims. Before I do, I just wanna mention that the trims on a metal roof are probably one of the most important parts of the roof, not just because it brings the whole job together and makes the, the job look good, that's, what, that's why metal roofing looks so good, a, a big part of that's the trims, but it also is a crucial part of keeping the structure dry. So whether it's a home or a building, the trims are pretty important. And the reason I say that is because when we run service on these uh, metal roofs, either a house or a big building, you usually don't find leaks just out in the middle of the roof somewhere on metal. Metal is a very durable and long lasting product. That's why we use it for roofing. And it just doesn't tend to just jump a leak out in the middle of nowhere. Leaks usually occur around something and that something tends to be trims. So trims are an important part, not just for the looks, but these metal roof trims are also very important to keeping the overall structure dry. All right guys, so I've got some trims for you, some pretty standardized trims that we use on most projects. And I just wanted to run through the names of them and show you what they are. This is a piece of drip edge. Now all these trims are 24 gauge, and this, this drip edge is also 24 gauge. And, uh, and this gets set on the eave of a house. Here's a piece of, of Z. This is what we call Z. You can tell by the shape of it, that's what it's called. This is gonna be used in a lot of different spots, up by your ridge, on your rakes, on sidewall, on headwall, on a lot of different trims, you're gonna use your Z and then you're gonna hook trims like this. This would be your rake trim. It's gonna go over the side of the rake and that's gonna be hooked into the Z and then set. It's a really good looking trim. Here's a piece of sidewall. You can see all of these trims have a little hook on them. That's what's going to hook into a piece of Z. So the Z is gonna be set on the roof and the, the sidewall would be set just like that. Another common piece that we use is a, a piece of J channel. So here's what a piece of J looks like. And then here's a piece of pitch break. So if you had a 412 meeting an 812, you had a 412 pitch, it would come into here and it would shoot up to an 812 pitch. This is the piece of transition trim that we would use. We call it a pitch break. Here's a piece of hip cap. So on our hip caps, we run them flat and just do a hook, a one inch hook on each side. And then here's a piece of a, what, what a ridge cap sample would be. This is actually a vented ridge cap, so we've got some perforated J hooked up and riveted to it, but that's kind of a, an idea of what the, a ridge cap would look like. All right guys, so you, you've learned about some of our, our more common metal roof trims, and now I'm gonna show you how they're made. So we make all of our own metal roofing trims here at Exterior Pro, and the way we do it is pretty interesting, and I wanted to share it with you in this video. We take four by 10 flat sheets of metal, and those four by 10 flat sheets are gonna be the same color metal as the coil that we use for the metal roofing panels so that we have an exact match. So we store our four by 10 flat sheets in the rack, we pull them off the rack, and we bring them into a shear where we shear down a slit of metal to the dimension that it takes to make the desired trim. So whatever trim we're gonna make, we have a program in our CNC, which we'll show you in a second, that will tell us what length and or what width to switch that slit down the coil. So I can tell you some of these, like a piece of sidewall takes a nine inch slit. So we're gonna, we're gonna slit down our blanks or our strips of metal to nine inches. And then we're gonna move the blanks into the CNC and we're gonna bend them up or we could call it a break. We call it a metal break. I don't, it doesn't break anything. It just bends it, but or a folding table, but that's the terminology. That's what the machine is gonna do. It's going to take the pieces of metal and it's going to bend it. We're gonna show you how it's done here in just a second. So probably the best thing about having the, uh, the brake and the shear and the stock and being able to fabricate your own trims in a sheet metal shop is that each and every time we do trims, we can adjust the size, the height, the depth, the length of the hook, the face. We can make that trim custom to our application. So we don't have to take a trim that is not quite appropriate for that situation and try to make it work. Our guys don't have to make anything work. We can just come in here with the measurements that we need, program the machine, and get the custom piece that fits that application for a good watertight seal and a great clean look. All right guys, I'm standing in front of a CNC folding table and this is the machine that is going to 
bend up or put the folds or the bends in the metal roofing trims that we're gonna do. So uh, it's a very neat machine, it's very useful. <clears throat> This big bar swings up and makes the bends at the angles and it's all controlled with the computer head. <clears throat> and we have all of our trims plugged in here and I'm gonna show it to you. All right guys, so here's how we're gonna operate the machine and I wanna show you kind of how we've got ours set up with the files. So each file is a profile of standing seam that we make. So I've got the 138, the 238, uh, snap lock metal panel and then the U-shaped batten panel. So when I click into one of our profiles, now you're gonna see all of our metal roofing trims here, and this is how we make the trim. So if I click on this piece of uh, end wall on a 212 pitch, I can pull it up. And here's, here's my profile. So this is how we set up the trims in the machine. We, we have them already programmed in for everything that we wanted to need. So then if I needed to customize this piece, all I would have to do was go to, to my dimensioning, and I can adjust the dimensions and do whatever I need to do to this piece. I can adjust my angles, whatever I needed to do to this, to this piece to make it be a, a custom fit for the application. That's what we could do right here at the machine. All right guys, hope you've liked the video and learned something about metal roof trims that you didn't know. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.